Hi everyone, it's nice to see you and of course equally it's nice to be seen. Now I don't know about you guys but when I find there's another a job that a tool that I own can do without knowing it I get quite excited. Purely and simply because it's something that I probably would have never a thought of unless somebody else showed me. So today I'm going to show you another use for your knife which when I was shown this, easy pleased, I must admit, it did blow me away a little bit. I've got to show you guys. So, okay, I'm gonna walk through the woods and I'm trying to find a stick with a knot in it. That's all I need for this job. So let's go and have a look. Okay, I'm just looking for any old stick. I've got some um, old sticks over here. I might as well use one of those to just to recycle it but you could pick any stick off the ground it doesn't really matter if it's green I'd probably avoid that try and go for a seasoned one obviously one that's dry even if in the summer when they're laying on the ground they're not too bad or a dead standing is pretty good so I am just gonna use this one here this seems about good enough uh, slightly bigger than thumb thickness has it got any knots on it Yep, it has it. It's good enough for what I want to use it for. Right, so what are we going to do? I shall show you. Okay, so right, I've got my stick and what I want is a knot and there is a knot there. What I'm going to try and do is try and put that in straight so it goes straight down the middle. Okay, I want the blade facing that way so I can push that against my leg because it's not going to being careful not you don't slip and cut yourself get your knocking stick and just bang the blade until it hits the knot like so right so what have we done then we have made ourselves a draw knife okay and this is very handy I actually made a primitive bow like this just cutting off the axis wood and how effective are these? Well, I'll show you. So, if we just carefully carry this down there, it's a good idea to do this where you're working, but we're just gonna be careful and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. Right. Okay, so the idea then is obviously we've, we've supported this in there, right? And it, if you put a little bit of pressure on that, that, it should, that shouldn't move. So you can put your leg on it or whatever. You can even push it into your belly, that will hold it. And all I wanna do, is literally get my knife and start taking wood off like this. See how easy that's taking the bark off. And if our knife becomes loose, then all we gotta do is tap it back in. And what this is really good for, see how easy that just takes that off. really easy to to shape with this as well because you've got obviously you, you've got two hands on the knife and this here obviously helps pull it so you've got more force but you can be really gentle look remember the old feather sticks we did in an emergency you could just find some dead standing wood and just do this instead of doing feather sticks and just save all these to burn. I mean, these are burned quite nicely. So we turn that around. 
top of this there. Let's go there. See how I'm sort of moving it around? See, I'm moving the sort of around, like I can move the wood with my legs, but also I'm moving the knife. Even when you get to a bit of a stubborn spot like this. And say you can make primitive bows, anything like this, see? It's quite robust and you can just keep going and going and going. Let's turn that around. you break your axe handle you can certainly make a new one this way or a paddle even What's really good about this technique also is that it's just easier to sharpen the knife sometimes than it is if you've got a, a curved draw knife. Like the Grand Spores ones are curved. And if your knife's sharp anyway. Sort of is to it really. I mean, it's quite a simple trick that I learnt years ago. It served me quite well. And if you wanted to, you could just do one handed. And as you can see, I banged it in there just a little bit more than it was. I mean, it's up against the knot there. So it it's really isn't going anywhere. I so say the most important thing with this technique is just to make sure that you've got a green stick with a knot in it okay slightly bigger than thumb thickness probably suffice and that's all you need that'll all you that do you really Firewood, fire starter. Pretty cool, huh?
So, if you like what you saw, let's face it, we've got some pretty good kindling now. You can start a fire quite easy with this stuff. So if you like what you saw, like, subscribe and all that. Um, leave a comment if you've got a comment down below. If you've got an idea similar, I'd love to hear it. Um, it's always nice to share ideas. I mean, they don't cost nothing at the end of the day. Um, but that there is really smooth. I think that's probably all I'm gonna do. Oh, for anybody that might have noticed, I'm starting to wear one of my carved wolf pendants. Well, if you watch the um, the birch burr harvest that I did oh, back in uh, probably December, January on one of my videos, this is the wood from it. So I will be selling them. Um, you can uh, drop me a line if you want one or interested in one, I can hook you up. Um, or I will be selling them on it's ST, I think that's how you pronounce it, E-S-T-Y, I think that's how it is, um, under the name Chris Craft GB, that's a capital GB, so you will be seeing them on there periodically. So with that said, I'm just going to, uh, let's say finish off here, pack away. Well, have a nice weekend and I will catch up with you on the next one.